Hey everyone, Zora Photography here, and today we're gonna review the Hot Toy Spider-Man No Way Home, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, the deluxe version. This figure has been a long time coming. It's a much needed upgrade, and I'm happy to finally have this and ready to review for you guys. In this video, we're gonna talk about some pros and cons on the figure. I'm gonna show off all the accessories that comes with this figure. And at the end, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the figure and some poses as well. I hope you guys are ready for this. Thank you again for stopping by and please enjoy the video. All right, let's get right into it. First things first, we're gonna talk about the packaging. It's a pretty big box compared to your standard uh, Hot Toys figures, but this is a deluxe and it does come with that massive Sandman base. You do get the exclusive size show and I will show the exclusive piece that comes with this. You get an artwork of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, the logo, more information. This is the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Same logo on the side of the box as well. Here's some of the information on the back of the people that worked on this project. Here we get its bigger logo on the top as well. And on the bottom, I think, yes, we have the Spider-Man No Way Home logo. All right, enough about this. Let's get right into the figure and the accessories. First set of hands you get are these fisted hands. They're already attached to the figure itself. They are this dark red color along with some silver paint on it. And it is a bit raised, but I do love the color on it. It's really cool. Next up, we have some like relaxed palm holding hands, I believe. Same color and texture as well. Next up, you got some wall crawling hands. Must have and must need for this figure. You only get one hand that holds like the web effect pieces that come with this figure. Next up are the Spider-Man flipping hands. I will show off the accessories that I can attach to these hands and you can attach the plastic web effect pieces to them. The last pair of hands are the pointing hands or in this case, the meme hands. This is an awesome addition and I'm glad that Hot Toys added this in with this figure set. Back to the flipping hands, you do get like these special accessory pieces that attach to the palm of each hand. Here's like a normal one and this is one with the attachment on it. This is where you can attach your web effect pieces onto it. Accessory set are these web effect pieces, but honestly, they're pretty outdated. I highly doubt I'll ever use them. They're cool, but honestly, they don't really, they're not really that great to use. But the next clip, I will show how they look on the figure's hands. Here are two examples how you could use those web effect pieces. You could do the one where he's shooting out from his hands, and then you could use the gripping hand to pretend he's holding like a, a bundle of the webs on his hands. They're cool effects, but honestly, I don't really see myself using them personally. Next accessory is Marco or the Sandman's Cure. This is really detailed and cool. I do wish Hot Toys added more of like the Cure pieces because I know there was one for Electro and for Green Goblin and we didn't get those. I wish we got them, but nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with this. It's a cool little accessory. Next accessory is just an unmasked Spider-Man mask. There's no real function behind it. It's just meant for him to hold in his hand or have on the ground. But it is a cool accessory. I do like that they actually added the lenses on here. And it is printed as well for all the webbing. So it's pretty cool. There's still a lot of details to it. It's just a nice addition to add for this figure set. Next accessory I'm pretty sure a lot of people are happy to see and add to their collection is a Tobey Maguire head sculpt. And honestly, this is pretty spot on. I know some people don't like the dead look and they wish they had rolling eye features, but to be honest, for what you're getting, I'm pretty happy with this. It does really look like him. I do hope Hot Toys adventures out to like the original Sam Raimi movies and hopefully we could get like a younger Tobey Maguire head sculpt. But for now, I'm happy with this. Here, I just wanted to show off the special edition Sideshow exclusive accessory piece that comes with this set. It's just that extra Doc Ock tentacle. It's fully bendable from top to bottom of the of the tentacle. These are fully posable as well, and they do hook up to the Sandman base, which I'll show in a bit. Next up is the reason why I picked up this deluxe set, and it's this massive Sandman base that Hot Toys made. It's so detailed, the head is movable as well. And they even added real sand to this Sandman base, which is a really nice touch, honestly. 
It's really cool. It's really detailed. It's a big step up from the one from the Spider-Man 3. So this is a nice update. It does have a port in the middle right here where you can insert the dynamic flight stand. And in the back right here, where you can see it's like grooved out, you can attach the Doc Ock tentacle right here. So yeah, this is like the main showcase of the deluxe set. This Sandman base, it's really cool to have. Yeah, it's a, it's a good substitution because we didn't, we're not getting an actual Sandman figure for this lineup and I'm, I'm fine with this. Side note, a major con I'm not liking about this Sandman base is that the sand that they applied on here is actually coming off a little bit. So if you're messing around with this a lot, you will leave like a sand residue wherever you display this. But for the most part, if you're not really touching it, it'll be fine. But it's just something I wanted to add in. And finally, we're going to take a look at what everybody's been waiting for in this video. And a review of is this Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure as seen in Spider-Man No Way Home. And honestly, first impressions when I first had this and after a couple weeks of having this figure, it's a good figure. It's not perfect, but it's a good figure. It's not entirely accurate and it doesn't look exactly how it looks in the Sam Raimi movies, but this is a good addition to have if you've been wanting like a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure. Starting things off, I do want to talk about the detailing that Hot Toys put into this figure. All the webbing, spider, spider logo, especially on the back, they're all raised and I love it. And it has like a silver shine to it, especially how the light hits it. It does give off that vibe from like the Sam Raimi movies. I do want to point out the amount of detailing Hot Toys put into these rubber suits. It's really detailed and almost true to the movie appearance, especially on the red. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but it does have like those honeycomb effect pieces. I do wish Hot Toys added more shading just to show off the muscles a bit more. But like I said, I'm still happy with this figure. But before I go into articulation on this figure, I just want to talk over a few things that I'm not digging about this figure at all. Starting things off, Hot Toys still has a problem with their Spider-Man figures to when you're bending the figure on their foot, at the ankle of their foot, sorry. And then when you release it and put it back to like a standard position, it's like digging in and folding in, which can ruin the suit over time. Next up, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people are gonna like this. I don't like it too. I wish there is a way Hot Toys could fix this, but it's okay. It is what it is, but it's still noticeable on these Hot Toys figures. It's all the stitchings, like where they had to seal up the figure. It's still pretty noticeable, especially like on the arm areas right here. It's a bit of an eyesore sometimes, especially when I'm taking photography. But like I said, I'm not like too stressed over it, but it's something that people should know when they're getting into these Spider-Man figures. They can't do like a complete sealed figure. There has to be points where they have to like stitch it up in certain spots. The last con I have about this figure is I do wish they added more muscle definition around the figure. Maybe a couple paddings on certain parts, especially like the shoulders. But other than that, like that's the last of like cons or complaints I have about this figure. Besides the cons on this figure, the biggest pro I could take away from this figure is that it's a nice update from the old Spider-Man Tobey Maguire figure we got back then. This is a great update for people that are wanting to get like a Tobey figure and don't wanna deal with that older figure and all the problems that it had in the past. Real quick, right before we get into the articulation of the figure, I just wanted to show off the Tobey Maguire head sculpt on the Spider-Man body. And honestly, this looks good. Looks really good. And like, I know it would've been better if like it had the rolling eye system, but I can't complain. Like I got a Toby figure, this is good. Okay, next up, I wanna talk about articulation of the figure. Please keep in mind, this is a Hot Toys, so it's not like your Marvel Legends or your SH Figure Arts or your Mafex. So please keep in mind that articulation will be limited just because of the amount of soft goods are on this figure. Obviously, if there was no rubber suit, everything was printed onto the body itself, articulation will be 10 times better. Starting off, we're gonna start off with the head region right here. It can go up and down, but it's limited due to the fabric down below. It can swivel side to side. It can look left to right, but it's limited due to the fabric. Next up are the arms. You do get a butterfly joint that can move 
back and forward mainly forward it could go a lot so it does help for posing wise next up are the arm articulation it does have a butterfly joint that could go back in front arms at the shoulders could raise pretty high it can go 360 but the suit will get snagged so it can go forward and back pretty well back down it does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows which is good always a nice add and has your wrist articulation which can go side to side and round the upper body portion has two ball joints which is on the top and then at the bottom toward the pelvic region it can move side to side but it will be hindered a little bit but can bend forward pretty well and then back pretty far too so you can get some decent poses out of this figure next up are the legs it can go forward pretty well, can go back for a decent amount. Swivel at the upper thigh, double jointed knees, which is good. Can swivel at the ankle, up and down, and then you got a tall articulation as well. For the sake of this video, I wanted to show off some things that people are not gonna like about Hot Toys, which is totally understandable, but there is a lot of bunching in certain areas which will throw the figure off and make it look weird especially for a spider-man figure that does become an issue as also as stated in the instructions as much as i know people know that spider-man is in should always be in a dynamic pose it is emphasized in the instructions to not leave your figures in a dynamic pose for a long period of time because when you do leave it in certain poses and depending on the climate of your room it can damage the figure in the long run. So I highly advise to read the instructions and make sure you don't damage your figure. Real quick, I just wanna do a quick size comparison. On the right here, we have them with the integrated suit, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. And on the left, we have them with the amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield figure. Sizing is pretty on point with these three. Here, just for another size comparison, here he is with the OG suit, Green Goblin figure, and the advanced suit 2.0 from Spider-Man 2 PlayStation 5 game. These next few clips are just some poses I was able to hit with this figure and I just want to give you guys my overall thoughts on the figure set as a whole and the whole line as a whole as well. Starting things off, is this a must have? Yes. Is it perfect? No. Are there a lot of things they should have changed? Yes. But given that there's no other company that's really doing a Tobey Maguire figure besides customizers. This is honestly the best we're gonna get in the market right now and I highly recommend it to a lot of people to pick it up. If you're like a huge Tobey Maguire fan of the Spider-Man, definitely must get, especially with the Sandman base, so it pays a little bit more respect to the Spider-Man 3 Sam Raimi movie verse. But is it really worth picking up to complete the No Way Home line? Of course it is. The three Spider-Mans together honestly look really good together. Hot Toys never really finishes the line. So giving something like this is definitely a nice nod that Hot Toys listen to the fans and they want to give us a complete lineup for this movie. Before I wrap up this video, there's just one last thing I want to say. This figure is a must have for if you're a diehard Spider-Man fan. But if you're expecting a figure to be super poseable and do like crazy abnormal poses that a Spider-Man supposed to do, this figure isn't meant for that it's just more meant for display purposes and to show off like a more screen accurate representation of the character overall i give this deluxe set a 9 out of 10 it's a must pick up for anybody that's a diehard sam raimi or toby Maguire spider-man fan if you guys are interested i will leave a link down in the description where i picked it up and then if you guys can do help also comment what your thoughts in the video also please like share comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Zor Photography, and I'm signing out. Thank you again, guys.